acampamento Só deixou As roupas do varal Os limão do quintal E a pasta impermeável Com os documentos Eu disse a filha Como é que vai ser Ela disse não sei o que fazer My darlings, welcome to a new vlog. I feel that this lighting is very, very harsh and I look, I look very flat. I look like, I look like the full moon. <laughs> Great start to the morning. I'm not sure if I will have inserted any clips um, because I think it was very dark and interesting angles, but we had a PT session at the house this morning. Lovely Simon comes over and I do an hour and then Charlie does an hour and it works very well. It really motivates me to actually get up and do something because once he's here, <laughs> obviously I have to do my PT session. Otherwise I would have had an extra hour in bed this morning. Today's a very exciting day. I'm sorry, this lighting is so bad. I literally look flat. <laughs> Today is going to be a very exciting day slash night. So shortly I am gonna get the train into London. I've got a couple of meetings um, and then I'm heading to the Shangri-La at the Shard for an amazing dinner. It's gonna be an incredible evening with the Wedding Edition. So the Wedding Edition is a website where you can find so much wedding inspo, literally every part of your wedding day from suppliers to like tips for the day, wedding guest outfit ideas, bridesmaid dress suggestions. They have so many contributors and just it's the, the one kind of go-to place for wedding content online and they host the most amazing events in collaboration with a few different brands. Tonight, the brand that they are collaborating with is called Sky Diamond. Um, apparently the most sustainable diamond company and apparently they extract carbon from the atmosphere and turn it into diamonds. So obviously not, not mined diamonds but a far more sustainable way of creating beautiful diamond pieces. So I feel like it's going to be so perfect celebrating that and learning all about it at the Shangri-La. And then I am actually going to stay the night there. It is an amazing, incredible place to stay. One of my friends got engaged there. Um, I know lots of friends have been there for like anniversary meals and special, special birthday meals and things like that. So it really is the most amazing place to stay. So I can't wait to show you around the room and around the hotel. Whenever I think of the Shangri-La the Shard, I always just think of heated toilet seats. <laughs> It is a very luxurious experience all around. So that's the plan later on today. But first, I've just got ready. I am not bothering for a little while to curl my hair because I don't know if it's the length, I am very much in need of a haircut, or the fact that my shampoo and conditioner routine at the moment is so silky. I'm using a new set from Wella. I've been using various Wella System Professional sets for a while, and my hair is just so silky and soft, which I will never complain about, but it does mean that curls just don't stand a chance in my hair. I need to find a product that I can apply into my hair, even when my hair is silky, because obviously I'd rather my hair be silky. Sorry, this is very, very boring. Basically, curls are not lasting, which is why I've just done a little um, barrel bristle brush blow dry with my Dyson Airwrap. So this morning, before I go, I have got some major, major unboxing to share with you. I think this is quite possibly my biggest ever Farfetch order, which I'm just very inspired by so much stuff at the moment. So many things that are on the website. I don't think I've ever scrolled through the new in section and been so lust, lusty, <laughs> lusty over everything. Um, so I think I have no less than seven boxes to undo with you, which could take a while, could take a while, but these are all really gorgeous pieces that will hopefully like bolster my autumn wardrobe and I've really thought about things that are in my existing wardrobe and why I get so much wear out of the things that I get so much wear out of and I've tried to have that in mind as you will probably see with the items that I have purchased here. As you may know Farfetch works as a kind of aggregator in that it 
is not like one big warehouse somewhere they actually partner with boutiques all over the world for example browns here in london um boutiques in spain portugal switzerland australia everywhere and unlike if you were to buy from brands in other countries you do not get stung with import duties which is just a load off your mind especially after brexit when you are shopping from these retailers and it means that you always have access to the most incredible selection of products that couldn't be held all in one place you literally have access to the world's boutiques all from one website which is one of the many reasons that I love it, as well as the fact that customer service is amazing, their returns process is super duper easy, and just the products that they have on the site are always the best. So I do have a discount code, um, which will be on the screen here, and all the information about that will be in the description box down below. No longer, just for new customers. Very, very exciting indeed. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with the biggest box and I feel like this is the least surprising addition to my wardrobe this autumn winter. If you watched my video where I spoke about the Chloe boots that I got repaired by the restory, I was literally saying how they are one of if not the most worn pair of boots in my entire wardrobe and I always think that that's it's a really good idea to think about those things when you are purchasing new ones. So we do have a new pair of Chloe boots which I am, um, oh my god so excited about oh my gosh they are stunning they look quite big what size did i get 37 and a half that must have been the only size available because i would say i'm a 36 but look at this i do have our trip to nashville tennessee in mind with a lot of these purchases and i feel that these will just be so practical for because to be quite honest where we live this kind of boot is what i get the most wear out of when i lived in london it was probably you know boots with skinnier heels or maybe more dainty shoes but living in the Cotswolds in the countryside these more kind of chunky practical boots are very much more appropriate for my outfits i really hope these fit i hope they're not going to be too big i will leave some size notes on the screen here very substantial chunky chunky block heel they have got a kind of western patterning with a contrast stitching on there um, I love the little loop at the top, which is hopefully going to make them super easy to pull on. I will insert some try-on clips here because obviously I am in my dressing gown at the moment, which is not the best way to style Chloe boots, but I've got a very good feeling about these. And I think that they are the kind of thing that I will get a lot of wear out of. Next package has come all the way from Milan, from the La Tuada, La Tuada boutique <laughs> kind of random that this has come from milan because i would say this is the most british piece in my entire order it is my christmas <laughs> jumper for the year this is actually from barber and i feel like this is just the ultimate classic christmas jumper it is a chunky knit it is it's got the feral kind of classic pattern on it and it has got prancing reindeer a lovely chunky um a lovely chunky neckline i got size eight uk eight drawing inspiration from britain's iconic coastline and beautiful countryside the collection celebrates a natural world i feel like throughout the whole of winter it's not like overly festive obviously you see stags and deer at all all um all throughout these months but it is a christmas jumper i will be wearing it with leggings on the 2nd of december we're going to the dales for christmas evening christmas preview evening just with a pair of black leggings that is pretty much my christmas cozy outfit sorted long walks sunday roasts i am very 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 happy with this it's got a little barber emoji there at the back and it does not feel like it's going to be itchy i'm going to guess that this is a wool mix yeah, 80% wool. Barber Kingsbury Knit, hand wash only. It always says that, and I always just use the delicate setting on my machine. Oop, let's not show you my address. <laughs> this next one is perfectly timed because I might end up wearing these tonight because I can see on the box, it's a little bit of a spoiler alert because it always says on the box, I guess for import reasons, it tells you what's inside. And this one says Manolo Blahnik Lutara 90 millimeter pointed mules. This would be becoming a bit of a Christmas tradition if I keep these. 
and if they are my Christmas day shoes because do you remember it was probably this time last year that I unboxed these beauties from Farfetch and they were my Christmas day shoes last year not obviously just Christmas day I think I wore them on New Year's I have worn them for many special occasions since I'm not a fan of heels that are uncomfortable I will not make that kind of sacrifice so the fact that these are super comfy as well as just being stunning if these are still in stock on farfetch i will leave them linked down below i love a mule because you can just slide your foot into it i think these are so elegant and gorgeous the amount of detail on them is beautiful um so what i'm about to unbox is potentially the 2022 version i might potentially wear these tonight or i might wear a pair of my mac and mac heels which i got from farfetch depending on how they go with the dress okay so inside the box oh my gosh I think this is my dream pair of shoes. Do I even need to use any words right now? I don't think I do. I don't think I need to explain why I chose these. The most elegant and beautiful green velvet and then the sparkles the diamonds sparkling this would be so perfect for tonight with the theme of the evening oh my goodness lovely heel height not too high but high enough to just make you look and feel fabulous look at that detail that is just sensational i am so excited to wear these i already know that i'm 100 percent going to be keeping these my camera stopped recording and i don't know how long ago it stopped recording i really hope that you got my reaction to opening <laughs> the manolo blonics i really really hope you did but shall we take another moment because i think these are the most perfect shoes in the entire world i would go as far as to say obviously i've not even tried them on yet but i'm already i already know that they are just these are my dream shoes, my actual dream shoes. Heel height, perfect. I love that they're mules. I love the color. I love the sparkle. The pointed toe is always very leg elongating, very flattering. If I don't wear these tonight, then I'll probably end up wearing my gorgeous sparkly Mac and Max, which are just so fabulous because I won't, I won't have to walk very far tonight. Um, and these are not the comfiest. So I feel like it's a good opportunity to wear them because I've not got that much wear out of them yet, but Farfetch does have an incredible selection of Mac and Mac and Jimmy Choo and Manolo Blahnik, so I will leave all of my festive footwear favourites linked down below, but wow. I was actually speaking to um, my taxi driver yesterday and he was saying that he was going to buy his wife a pair of Manolo Blahniks for Christmas and I said, hold out, I will send you my Farfetch discount code. These are size 36 and a half, handmade in Italy. Okay, this box does not weigh and oh, how funny. Super, a very light box and this has come from a boutique near Lake Como. My mum was there just last week. She could have picked this up for me. So we are literally going glam countryside, glam countryside. So we are back <laughs> to countryside and another piece here from Barber. I love a wool hat. I love a hat. I love anything that's going to keep my head warm at this time of year. I got size medium because I do have a fairly large head <laughs> and some of the hats, if they don't sit properly, um, yeah, they're just not comfortable. So this. In 1894, John Barber established himself in the burgeoning port of South Shields in England, providing outerwear to give protection from the worst of the North Sea weather. I mean, I'm not sure that this will protect you from the North Sea weather, but it will be fantastic, again, for all the occasions i mentioned earlier dog walks trips to soho farmhouse evenings at dalesford it is this really lovely kind of mottled green and you can see it's got the plaited leather really lovely um and as well as being a wonderful fashion statement they just keep your head so warm and do not underestimate the power of a hat for pre from preventing for preventing you from getting a cold because we lose so much heat out of our heads. I sound like such a mum telling my children to keep warm, but keep toasty kids. I have got another very, <sighs> very large box here. And this is, if anything is going to be returned, I've just got a feeling that this, this is the wild card. It's something that I don't need. And if I had to choose between this and 
Hmm. Um, the Chloe boots. I think I'm probably leaning towards the Chloe, but beautifully wrapped up in tissue paper. It is from Jimmy Choo, and as you can guess by the size of the box, it is of course a pair of boots. Oh, oh gosh. I forgot how beautiful they were. I'm gonna really struggle to make up my mind here. So these are kind of dress up boots. If you, these are not the kind of boots that I would march around Soho Farmhouse in. These are needing to look elegant in the evening, but still have boots on. I'm trying to think of what kind of occasion. When I go for lovely, like smart work lunches, this kind of thing would be absolutely perfect. They've almost got like a, not bracelet, but like anklet kind of detail, which I think is actually removable by the looks of it. That looks like a clasp. Yeah, look. So you can remove this entirely if you want to. That's a lovely idea. But I quite like, I like that additional detail. These, again, with the pointed toe are going to be super flattering and leg elongating. Absolutely beautiful. A lovely a zip going all the way down. So they should be nice and easy to get on. They are gorgeous. I'm not 100% sure on the color kind of wish it was either a little bit more pinky or a little bit more brownie. I don't know. I'm going to try them on, obviously, um, and see how they look. And I feel like I might play around with a few different outfits and just see what works with them. My heart and my head is probably still saying Chloe. I was meant to be catching an 11am train, but it's 10.30 now. There is no way I'm going to catch that train. So never mind. I will show you the final two things in my order. Um, I've got a feeling that because these are Valentino, the 10% off may not work. I will show you because Farfetch is a real go-to for me when it comes to Valentino because I often have things on Farfetch um, that I can't find elsewhere. So we have got, first of all, I just know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this and it is a belt. Gorgeous. I love how they have incorporated. They have incorporated the Valentino logo into like a chain detail. I can just think of so many of my jumper dresses um, that this will look so elegant cinching in around the waist. And last but not least, we've got a tough decision on our hands. Valentino Garavani boots. It is going to be I am going to say right here, I will only be keeping one pair of boots from this video because that would be excessive. <gasps> but these are black and I don't have a nice pair of black boots. <sighs> I might have to eat my words. I think I'm, I am going to have to return the Jimmy Choo because I just didn't get that quite same reaction. They've got a little heel. They've got a very smart, oh my goodness me, how elegant. I would get a lot of wear out of these and they're timeless. They're a pair of black boots with a little V in the heel. <gasps> yes. Sheesh kebabs, I love them all. That is a funky design detail and it's almost like velvet down at the very bottom. Oh no, oh no, but this is a great way of dressing up. Um, like a leggings and a jumper. Oh, 100% recycled paper. Well done. These are a size 37. I thought I was going to send these back, but I love them. Right. I'm going to try some things on quickly for you. Although you might have already seen the try on clips within what you've just seen. Um, and then I'm going to make my way into London town. Everything that I've just spoken about from Farfetch will be linked down below. Um, and don't forget the discount code. It is so worth using. Treat yourself to some gorgeous autumnal wardrobe closet staples. And let me know down below your thoughts on which I should keep, if any I should return, and what your favourites are. a different view. Just managed to get here before sunset. The sun is about to disappear behind a cloud. Oh my gosh. I have been here a couple of times before but every single time it just takes your breath away. So many landmarks that you can spot from here. There's the walkie-talkie, the cheese grater, St Paul's Cathedral, BT Tower, 
There's a Thames Clipper whizzing by down there. It's always great to spy on all the roof terraces from up here as well. <laughs> you can just see, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but over here is the flag on top of Westminster Cathedral, Westminster Abbey, and then London Eye. My goodness, the Oxo Tower. The trains scuttling in and out of London Bridge Station it really is the most incredible view. Well, my darlings, I have just made it to my room and I have been upgraded. Oh my goodness. This is one hotel where an, up an upgrade is quite incredible because I have gone from a fabulous room to one of the most fabulous rooms I think in the entire city. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much Shangri-La for this very, very generous upgrade. So let me show you the view. Can you by the way tell that there is a TV here in my bathroom cabinet? Um, I don't know how I get that to work, but how fun is that? Not that I'll be looking at the TV, I'll be looking at <gasps> the view. The view from my bathroom, oh my gosh, it is pretty much the same view that I just showed you, um, but actually three floors up. We are on level 38. I think this is room 3809, if you wanted to request this exact one. Oops, Daisy, that is a scale. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 you can really see the structure of the shard from this room. Gosh, I'm a bit emotional. This is so incredible. From Cotswolds to major, major city center, incredible views. Yes, this is a serious bath with a view. I am gonna have the most sublime soak in this tub tomorrow morning. I cannot wait to get these lovely little bath salts. Oh my gosh, Loxitan, that is so lovely. Look at this, oh my goodness. Ooh, if that is somebody's room, they might be able to get a sneaky view of me in the bath. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We are about to have the most incredible sunset. Oh, and I haven't even shown you the actual room yet. Here is my ginormous shower. How luxurious. Locks tan shampoo and conditioner. And this is my room. Really, really beautiful, sumptuous velvet pillows. Oh my gosh, gorgeous lamps, artwork, marble table. We've got some water there. I need to pour myself a glass. They said it was a super king bed, but that I swear is bigger. This is definitely bigger than mine and Charlie's bed at home, which is a super king. I think this must be an emperor. Oh, and I remember that the sheets here are just heavenly. They are so soft. Oh, I'm gonna have such a good night's sleep. We've got a television there. Um, a bottle of champagne. Wowza! Oh my gosh, not just any champagne, a bottle of Verve Clicquot. But I think I'm going to be enjoying a lot of Perrier Jouet tonight for the dinner. An espresso machine, I might make myself a quick, quick coffee. Welcome to Shangri-La, we hope you enjoy your stay. I will, I truly will. This is my desk, oh what a treat. Um, I think we can order some room service on here. Wonderful. And I believe this actually will show me what the buildings are. I think you can like pan it around. Let's have a little look. Welcome. Thank you. Ooh, that is such a lovely idea. Binoculars. So we can do a little bit of spying. That's wonderful. Okay. Ooh, in-room dining. Yes. Ting. That's where I'm going to have breakfast tomorrow. Sky pool. Wow, wow, wow. That's that's such a wonderful idea. Um, and that's not it. I've actually got my own little dressing room area through here. How wonderful. And a full-length mirror. Yay! So I popped on this and other stories jumper dress. Ooh, overhead lighting. Quite harsh. <laughs> I popped on this and other stories jumper dress. Um, and my... Are they Jambito Rossi boots? And then I wore my lovely Fairfax and Favour um, gilet to get here. Right, I'm going to unpack a little bit, but first I do need to make myself a quick coffee, otherwise I'm going to be a party pooper. Let's see if there's anything in the mini fridge I could just do with snuffling something, like a packet of crisps or something. Ooh, Kit Kat. Oh gosh. Here we go. Yum! 
Arello. Okay, my darlings, it is 20 minutes later and I'm now ready for the evening. The theme for tonight is sparkling diamonds. <laughs> we are here to celebrate or discover um, a brand called Sky Diamonds, apparently one of the most sustainable jewelry, br jewelry brands in the world. Appar I don't know how, but somehow they make diamonds from the sky. I don't know. We're going to find out all about it. So to be in with the theme, I have popped on my lovely sparkling dress. This dress is from Topshop. Would you believe it? It's from Topshop. Um, I actually wore it a couple of new years ago and I really, really love it. I tied my hair back to do my makeup and I'm kind of thinking I might just leave it tied back. I love the lighting in here. Um, oh, got a lipstick on my brace. Love the lighting in here and it looks kind of glam with hair tied back but I'm not sure if it's glam enough for the evening. I always end up tying my hair back when I'm eating anyway. Excuse the makeup station mess. I'm also going to take my little Chloe Nile bag which I have had for a very very long time, one of my oldest handbags. Unfortunately it does not fit an iPhone. <laughs> it's too small but it does have this little pocket in the back which I'll slip it into and then if my reflection doesn't dazzle back too much we can see the city lights are starting to come on, you can see the London Eye, you can see the glow of the trains down there, gosh it really is sensational. And I have decided to wear my Mac and Mac shoes, also very sparkly. The last time I wore these they were so uncomfortable, I wore them to see Wicked with um, Freddie and they were so uncomfortable I had to actually walk home, walk across the road barefoot, but I thought seeing as I'm only having to go down a few flights of stairs. I should be able to manage this evening. Let's just see how it looks with hair down. Have I given myself a kink? But then I would feel like I needed to take a hairbrush. Okay, I'm gonna finish with some Urban Decay All Nighter to keep my makeup in place. Erin Rose de Grasse as my fragrance. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. We are ready to go. from this incredible bathroom lighting. I had some incredible conversations and so amazing 
to learn about Sky Diamond. The founder is a very inspiring chap. Not sure if he's founder or co-founder, um, but they have really pioneered um, so many businesses in the sustainability space, whether it's, they said that they, um, with Forest Green Rovers, turned it into the first sustainable football team. I don't know how that works, but that's incredible. They developed a nationwide um, network of electric, char electric car charging points. They'd built the UK's first electric car. Loads of amazing accolades that they have done as a business. And now, Sky Diamond, who is talking about, of course, how unsustainable, both from a human, ethical, and um, planet-wise, how unsustainable mined diamonds are, which as you'll know is something that I am very very interested in and I'm learning a lot more about and I'm really interested to see how the diamond market changes in the next like five to ten years. I honestly think that the whole lust over mined diamonds is just going to completely vanish <laughs> as people learn more and more about what, where they've come from and the fact that they're not really as rare as people think that they are. We have been marketed to very cleverly by certain companies um, but anyway 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 Sky Diamond they were saying how they are extracting carbon from the atmosphere and obviously we don't want too much carbon in the atmosphere and turning this carbon from the atmosphere from the sky into diamonds now thinking realistically I'm not sure if that's just like the most amazing marketing spin ever and does all carbon come from the sky I don't know probably not because honestly it sounds like they are doing just the most amazing things I swear there is a police chase going on down there <laughs> got a great view from up here this would be a great MI5 headquarters to be like I see what you're doing down there <laughs> yeah, really, really fascinating company. The UK's first sustainable diamond. It's definitely a company that I want to look into a lot more. They have got the most beautiful pieces. Um, and it was just a lovely, lovely dinner. What better place to learn about Sky Diamond than in the most amazing room you saw how fabulous the table looked. The real flower company did the table, um, the flowers on the table. Maison Margot actually had the same plates there that we rented from them last Christmas. The amazing Oscar de Laurento crockery. Um, the food, the food was all vegan and it was just absolutely delicious. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic evening. I've had a lovely <laughs> bath this morning, as you just saw, uh, and I've actually now got a breakfast meeting here up up down down <laughs> down on level 35 um so i'm gonna head there now and i'll see you later i actually bought one of these with me as well i sh <laughs> should have shown you before i drank it um but this was a spirulina water from a company called daily dose and it was absolutely delicious i'm gonna start bringing things like this with me on overnight stays and um things like that when i'm gonna be out and about all day because sometimes when I see a menu, I just have to have the most delicious option and I don't really necessarily think about nutrition <laughs> when I'm eating out. Um, so having things like this is a great way of me actually getting my vegetables. As you can see from the tiny bit that's left, it was a green juice and honestly I feel like it has revitalised me this morning. And not that I'm feeling delicate, I only had a couple of glasses of champagne last night. Oh, it was so lovely. Um, but yeah, I just feel, felt like I needed a little bit of goodness in my body. Daily Dose is the company. They deliver fresh cold pressed juices. Um, I believe they are all organic, wonky veg. Um, yeah, really lovely. So I can't wait to try more from them. And they have given me a discount code, which I think is Josie20, um, if you'd like to give them a try. <laughs> made it back home and I feel very similar to how Dickie feels right now <laughs> in need of a snoozle are you very relaxed there my boy you look <laughs> incredibly relaxed mm. <laughs> you have got such a tough life Hello, handsome. 
Hello, handsome. Okay, hello, darlings. Excuse my complexion and the state of my <laughs> under eyes. Um, I feel like I just can't really do late nights anymore. I'm really, maybe I'm getting to an age where I just don't bounce back <laughs> like I used to. But never mind, I can't wait to have a fairly early night. I know Charlie is keen for an early night as well. Deja vu, because I feel like I ended the last vlog with a little PR unboxing. That light is a bit bright, isn't it? Um, that's better. I actually now have very professional a ring light oh my god <laughs> you can see that your tripod is currently a morph setting mist and a laura mercier moisturizer but i have a ring light behind my vlogging camera now um, and i just leave it there because this is actually not the brightest room um and i do my makeup sat here and i just find it too dark and it's actually a little bit like if i turn the light off it's just quite dark <laughs> So I like to turn that on when I'm chatting to you guys. But yes, deja vu because I think I ended the last vlog with a little PR unboxing up here and I'm going to do the same today because something very exciting has arrived as well as some beautiful dresses um, from Serafina and Jules and I sometimes struggle a little bit at this time of year when it starts to get a bit chilly and I can't wear my summer day dresses so I'm always 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 on the lookout for slightly more autumnal and warm day dresses and I feel like I've got some really good options there so I will show you those in a second but first it's like a Moses basket of goodies. Um, some, I'm gonna put it on the ground and just grab it from it. And by the way, there's obviously no point in me unpacking my suitcase because I'm actually in London again tomorrow night. I'm doing two overnighters in London this week and tomorrow might be a little bit later because I'm gonna be with Freddie, so it's gonna be a little bit more of, well, last night was a party, but when I'm with Freddie, <laughs> you know what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm just basically swapping the dresses. And anyway, so something that I was very, very excited to see had arrived today is a new, I think it's the SS22, Spring Summer 22 makeup collection from Dior. And I actually got the marketing email for this collection and instantly I was like, I'm gonna buy it all because <laughs> it's so beautiful. Sorry, I have to keep leaning down. The thing that I'm probably the most excited about is this compact. Have you ever seen such a beautiful contact compact in your life? It's um, actually fabric. This is a fabric top and it's got this flower pattern on it, which is so me, <laughs> so beautiful. And then inside, it's just the most gorgeous little compact, light pink um, with, oh, there it goes. Ah, uh, a little powder, powder puff inside, and then you have got a face powder underneath. And I'm a very shiny kind of gal. Even today, I was like having to powder myself. So this is just going to be the most wonderful thing to have in a handbag for, I mean, can you imagine how luxurious this will look topping up your powder on the go? This would be such a lovely gift idea. I'm definitely going to add this to my blog Christmas gift guides, which... 30 days has September, April, June, and oh, of course there's 31 days in October because Halloween. Um, on the 1st of November, the Christmas gift guide section on my blog will go live. They'll be for him, for her, stocking fillers for him, homeowners, mummy, baby gifts, um, under 50 pound, beauty, and yeah, I feel like this is definitely gonna go in my Christmas gift guides. And then also, this is obviously refillable. And then they've sent over three different cases for um, their refillable lipsticks. So this one is almost like, it's almost too bright, isn't it? Almost like a boucle material with little, what do you call it? Little sparkly bits. And then this one is the same kind of canvas fabric as the compact. And it's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. That is rather lovely. Quite a quite a deep pink, quite like an autumnal. I don't know if it's me though, let's have a look. It's quite deep, but I like it. Ooh, that could be a, that's, <gasps> ooh, it smells good. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, lovely, so I'm gonna pop that in there. And then you can, of course, keep your lipstick lid case and just buy top-ups of the lipstick. I love that, absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm going to have to buy two more lipsticks to fill these beautiful cases, but absolutely stunning. Thank you, Dior. Oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. These are amazing gift ideas. I feel like you, if you are a very bougie auntie and you've got a niece or a nephew who loves bougie things, like I know that if I was, for example, Freddie's auntie, then I would buy her this for Christmas. It is Miss Dior Bath Pearls. So these are gonna smell heavenly and they are tiny little pearls to go in your bath, wow. Oh my gosh, they smell sensational. And how just how fabulous to have a Dior bath pearl to unbox at Christmas. I feel like from now on, I'm just gonna be talking about Christmas gifting every time I open something fabulous. Um, and then the sweetest little candle, Bougie Parfumé Scented Candle. Oh, that is, that's quite a mature fragrance. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like young and girly. I wonder if they do this in a big candle. If they do, that's going on my birthday wish list. And what do we have here? Rose bath bombs. Ooh. Oh, they're like little macarons. Literally like little La Dorée macaron. A lot of plastic. That's the only thing I would say. I wonder if that's compostable. I really hope so, Dior, because otherwise that's a lot of single-use plastic. Um, but very, very cute and literally like a box of Miss Dior macarons. How gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Next, some bits from Kiehl's. We've got their Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I wonder if this would go well with my Skin and Me routine. It probably would, so I might give that a try tonight. It's just one of those products that everyone raves about and I've actually not really used it before. I know Charlie has. He's already filched two items from this Kiehl's haul. Three, actually. The Retinol Night Concentrate, um, the UV um, Ultra Daily Defense SPF, Facial SPF, and also they do something called Skin Fuel, which is Charlie's favorite in-shower kind of face cleanser from Kiehl's, which he has already pinched from this little blogger mail haul. Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I love to use foaming face washes when I use makeup brushes, and I've got the Beauty Pie um, vibrating face brush, which is wonderful, so that'll be grateful with that. And then the Ultra Facial Cream, another iconic product, one which I don't feel like I've ever really got into the habit of using. Um, I've got a few really good face creams that I need to start using at the moment. I also received this the other day from Beauty Pie, which is the Biologic Collagen Peptide Cream. I feel like that will be a really, really good one. Do you know what? I wonder if I can use that as a night cream. I don't see why not. I think that, because it's got peptides, I think that'll be really good after my skin and me, so I'm gonna take that down and use it as my night cream. I'm sure I could use this as a night cream too. Provides water replenishment throughout the day. Mmm. Well, maybe I'll use this as my night cream. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Choices, choices. <laughs> Less PMS, period. Not sure that's exactly what I want to have written on a candle. Uh, oh, smells good. Actually, <laughs> smells like Kelpol, but I love it. Zit sticker, mood food, gummies for moody skin and PMS drama, forest berry flavor. I'm not gonna lie, these look delicious. I haven't repurchased my hair burst in a while, actually. Um, maybe this can replace that. Mm. Mm. Yummy. They taste quite, um, yummy but quite medicinal and looking at the ingredients list are they natural don't, don't think they are oh cruelty free vegan friendly natural flavors evening primrose oil angelica extract holy blackberry extract ganoderma extract yeah so apparently they're good for that time of the month which is great um Lovely. Uh, Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Self Tanning Foam. I am a big fan of this. When I want to get a serious tan on, this is what I will reach for. But at the moment, I have just been using a gradual tan. Um, so Bondi Sands, thank you very much for topping me up. Cocoa Butter Scent. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I just showed you the reflection of um, where you're currently balanced, but I did actually pick up a tripod from Amazon. The thing is though, where you are now, I can just shove you on top of the thingy-majig. Whereas with this, 
I have to screw my camera on and then unscrew it and that's a lot of work. <laughs> I can't be able to screw things on but I'm going to leave it there and hopefully next time I talk to you from here you'll be on a tripod. That would be very professional of me. Now let me show you, I'll pop these all away. This weekend I need to have a big beauty cupboard clear out because I've just got too much too much. Take those down to the bathroom. By the way, I've had quite a few compliments on my perfume lately. I've been wearing Cosmos. I did um, tell you guys when I unboxed this, I actually didn't realise at the time that it's Kate Moss's brand, but it's a really nice perfume. Um, the Sacred Mist, they call it. They don't call it a perfume, it's the Sacred Mist. been loving that. Um, I need to give one of these to Lala. That's mine. Okay, let's finish with dresses. I feel bad leaving these till the very end of the video, but that's just how it is. Um, and I know you'll be seeing me wearing these in upcoming vlogs because I think they're all gorgeous. What I will probably do when I'm a bit more fresh in the morning is I will film the try-on clips um, and I'll insert them over while I'm talking. So Serafina is a brand, I think I first discovered them when they were advertised to me on an Instagram story. And I've been obsessed ever since. They've got the most gorgeous pieces. This is a... I can't wait to try styling this. A corduroy, um, kind of pinafore style, burgundy oxblood. I might try it on with, I've got that Chloe roll neck with the ruffles up at the top. I think that would look gorgeous. Bracken brown pocket pinafore. I love the color, the detail, these little scallops here. I think that is so sweet. And that is such a gorgeous, ultra warm outfit like if it's a really cold day but you just want to look fabulous i think that's going to be a great outfit from jewels oh so adorable it's full of nocturnal animals this is a real kind of harry potter dress um oh. <laughs> i could definitely get away with wearing a thermal underneath this really gorgeous pattern it's a nice material as well um that could be a really nice like christmas day or boxing day dress or general, general winter dress, going to Soho Farmhouse for a Sunday roast, that kind of thing. Back to Serafina. It's a Serafina and Jules sandwich. Ooh, I love this. I might have a look for a velvet belt. I feel like as we get into autumn winter, velvet is beautiful. That is so lovely. This is the most beautiful fabric. So it's actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got metallic in it. So it's got little sparkly sections. Um, the fact that it's got a waist belt means it's going to fit so beautifully and I love these autumnal colours. Not what I would have gone for in pre previous years but I find myself really leaning towards these more earthy natural colours at the moment. Back to jewels and I love the feeling of this dress. This is, almost feels like jumper material. It is a really nice soft material. Little floral pattern. Um, again, with a waist belt. This doesn't come with a belt, but I can see it's got an elasticated waist detail. I think with a belt that could look stunning. Absolutely stunning. Those dresses were all very kindly gifted, which I'm so eternally grateful for. But then I saw this dress on Serafina's Instagram and I had to purchase it instantly because I was like, I'm not. <laughs> I need to have this dress in my life. It is a green velvet this is potentially my christmas day dress which i'm so excited about i love velvet i think it is so gorgeous at this time of year i won't save it for christmas day i've got a really fabulous lunch tomorrow with joe loves so i might wear it for that if it does look as fabulous as i hope it does i really really hope it does i'm sure it will um but obviously velvet is super warm as well so it's going to be fabulous. I hope it fits. I really do. It's so lovely. I cannot wait to try that on. Oh, I really want to eat another one of those zit sticker gummies because they were really yummy. Hmm. Right, my darlings, I think that's all I had to report to you. I can't wait to get into my pyjamas, so I think I'm going <laughs> to do that now. Take my makeup off, put on a face mask. Yeah, that's the plan.